Okay, people. Now that I've had an hour or so to upload that stupid piece of junk, which took forever, by the way, I will draw the next character, which will be Nate or Nathan, whoever you want, whatever you want to call him. So he's got ears that are sticking up like this. I already had an idea of what I wanted these characters to look like before I started drawing them, so. And I said that I was going to reveal to you the name of this idea or story, and I will. But, you guys are going to have to look. Okay. Um, so I was thinking about it. And I think what we're going to call this story, and it would make sense, but let me tell you what the storyline basis is because I was able to work on it some more. And I think we're going to think. I think we're going to have something more of this. Yes, this looks like a German Shepherd at this time. But I guess that what we're going to do with the base of the story is going to be about the main character. Oh, by the way, I colored her. So if you guys want to see that before I start working on him. But this is what she's going to look like. Got her bio down there. If you guys want to pause that as I try to really make this smaller or whatever. That's what she's going to look like. And because he's a Doberman, he does not have a lot of fur, because Dobermans do not have a lot of fur. But they have very long legs, and they usually have stubby tails. So we're gonna try to Nate. The reason why I'm calling Nate, because I actually like that nickname a lot. It's a really cool nickname. A little bit of fur. I mean, he's still a dog, so we're not gonna make him completely furless. We're gonna give him a pretty cool stance. And remember that uh, Dobermans are fairly skinny legs, so. So basically, the the story of the story is about this pup, or not pup, but dog. And her name is Sarah, like I said. By the way, this is not my character or my persona. It's just her name because I want to call her that. And I don't feel like being too creative with names right now. But it's basically going to be about this dog, whose name is Sarah. And she's an outcast to her own clan. Because of... I don't really know why at this moment. Because she's just different. I think it's because she's just quirky and sarcastic and just completely weird and off key on everything that she does. So, what's that saying? That she has this, she has, of course, her friend, her one friend, and that's actually kind of realistic for my story, but um, she has this friend, and her name is Ainsley, who she hangs out with all the time. And she just hangs out with her, like I said, all the time. And later on, as the time goes by or whatever, so she's just living this life that's just simply, I'm the outcast and I, and I know it, but she's just like, I don't care, exactly. She, she's one of those characters that's just simply, simply does not care about what her status is at all. Um, she just acts like, she just acts the way she does, and sarcastic and funny. Um, so when she's at her trash heap, they call it her trash heap because that's kind of where she usually eats and sleeps or whatever, because that's just her special place. She finds this young, this young male Doberman pincher, that's actually pretty, pincer, that's actually pretty large for a dog. And her first idea of when she sees him is like, on. I think that that would be kind of everyone's reaction to it. Except for she realizes that this Doberman Pinsir isn't there to invade her little habitat, that you call it, her trash heap. It's he's injured. So, if you guys are paying attention, the storyline is going to be that she befriends the Doberman, whose name is Nathan, or Nate, as I like to call him. A stubby tail because stubby tails are awesome for Dobermans. I think that his ears need to be a little bigger 
just because when I get to draw him, he's going to be fun to draw. But the problem is that he is full of secrets, and all he wants in his life is for her to fully trust him. Um, so as time goes by, like I said, they become really good friends, and she's kind of just kind of branches away from her own pack and starts hanging out with him more and her best friend of course is around that she hangs out with a lot and then there's this one day or whatever that he that's what's his, Nate he gets some kind of call or notification that his old enemy has returned and his old enemy, his name is, is Wilson. And Wilson doesn't like, the, wants to fight him to the death because I don't really know the background of why he wants to fight him. He just hates him. Maybe it's a, maybe it's a family thing and they just hate each other or something. I'm not sure. But technically, it is funny because this, the Doberman is a very gentle giant and he's also a bit of a wuss. He doesn't like fighting, he's basically a pacifist, and he doesn't like that. Which is a cool trait for any kind of Doberman. That is why I chose the breed Doberman, because it's kind of funny. And Wilson just wants to fight him, because that's just basically genetic. At least speaking, they are supposed to be rivals. So... When he finds out, um, Nate knows that he needs to leave so he doesn't endanger his friends and especially, and especially Sarah's life. He doesn't want to do that. So he leaves in the night and it's kind of did Sarah's journey and she says that she needs to go find him because she's afraid that he's going to be in big trouble and danger because she just has this feeling. She just worried about him. Because he's just a really good friend of hers. So she and Ains she she gets Ainsley to come with her. And they go on this they go on the journey or whatever to find her friend. Which ends up to sending the whole pack together, which ends up reuniting the whole entire pack. Um and they realize, hey, we are one big family and we need to care for one another. And with Sarah and Ainsley gone, they say, we need to find them. So, and you know what, guys? That is basically a very big part of the very beginning of the story. This is just a part of it. That's not even close to being the end. And this is not going to be a series, probably. It's just going to be one book. But, if I end up doing it. But anyway, here's Nate. And he looks pretty cool, actually, for a Doberman. Very friendly looking Doberman. I really like how his character turned out. He will be brown and probably, let's see, we'll do a brown for his color, which will also be his wolf color that he has. And then I think we'll make a, this is actually going to be out in a minute, but we'll make a um, people color, that beige color, if I can find it, it's right here, never mind. It's right here. And then his eyes will be blue. His eyes will be a very deep blue. That would be very interesting for a Doberman. And as for some kind of collar, I'm not sure if we'll make one. Maybe like a chain. We'll probably do like a chain or something because chains are awesome. And because he's a Doberman. But I would really like how Nate's character is going to turn out because it's going to be this gentle giant that everyone's really afraid of Dobermans and they're always said that they're just these evil creatures in every animated dog movie or any dog movie in general. And I thought that... Let's make him a nice guy that just wants to, just wants life to go smoothly, not worry about problems in life. And what better choice than to make a Doberman that way? Because that would be a very nice thing to do. But anyway, the next one I will start making is Ainsley the Little Beagle, because beagles are adorable and I love beagles very much. So you'll be able to see him, his colored picture, as soon as I come back. Alright, see you guys later.